Hello, welcome to Mango Computer Tuition's video tip sheet on creating an image of your hard drive using a Cronus True Image Home Version 11. Having a hard drive image can be a real lifesaver because in the event of a systems failure or your hard drive going bad, if you have this image you'll be able to basically very quickly restore your computer to the state it was in on the day you made the image and it'll look, feel, and act exactly as it did on the day you made the image. So if you had a disaster, you'd be up and running in minutes, maybe an hour, hour and a half, rather than two or three days to load in all your programs and everything else involved with your computer. I think you'll find this program to be a very useful program to have, a good, one, a good one to have in your arsenal, and it's relatively easy to use. Okay, first thing we're going to do is open up a Cronus True Image. We come to the opening page, and we get to pick a category. You'll notice we have Backup and Restore, Dish Utilities, Try and Decide, Management Tools. They're all very useful. Today we're primarily interested in Backup and Restore, so we'll just click the backup and restore and then we want to back up so we click back up we'll get a message about the wizard you can read that when you have time but basically we're going to follow the wizard we're going to click next we're going to make sure the radio button is ticked for my computer we'll click next we'll make sure disk and partitions isn't is ticked if it's not you would just tick in the radio button, that round button, and when the dot's inside it, it's ready to go. Click Next. We're now going to choose the drive or petition that we want to back up. We're going to choose our C drive. It's already ticked for us. We're going to click Next. We now have the option to exclude certain types of files and folders uh, for a true image of our computer on the exact day that we make it. We're going to not exclude any files. We're going to click Next. Now we have the option to choose where we want the backup. The nice thing with the Cronus True Image 11 is we can back up to CDs, DVDs, uh, an external hard drive, another hard drive in the system, or even across the network. Uh, you could even back up to the same hard drive that you're imaging, but that would probably be foolish because if the drive failed, you wouldn't be able to access it. So we're going to back up to our external hard drive. It's I on our computer. We click the plus sign next to the drive icon, and it shows us the different folders in there. And we're going to back it up to a Cronus True Image 11. Down here we have the file name. We'll put in today's date. We're going to actually type in today's date. You would probably be better to put in the date that you made the image or another name that would help you to find it. Okay, now once you have that typed in, you just click Next. And we're going to create a new backup archive. It would be a good idea to read the documentation that comes with the program to see if you wanted to create a full backup archive or create an intermediate incremental backup or a differential backup. Uh, we prefer the full backup archive each time. It just makes it simpler for restoring. So we click Next. Now we can choose options. You can set, you can set options as to if the program is going to validate itself when it's done. Uh, it, you can give it a priority, meaning with a low priority, you'd still have systems resources. In theory, you could continue to work on your computer while it's going on, although we truly suggest that you don't. Right now, we're going to just accept the default options. We click Next. Put a message in here. This is just a note you make to yourself. tells you the purpose of the drive. Backup. Okay, we typed in before removing unused programs. The reason we did this is we're going to take some programs out of the system, and if it did adversely affect us, we could just put the image back in, restore it, and we back to where we started, no damage done. We then click Next. gives us a breakdown of what's going to be done, and we just click Proceed to Start. 
Now, the image, depending upon the speed of your system and the size of the image you're making and the media you're using to back it up, you should really figure an hour and a half, two hours the first time, although hopefully it could be done in less time. So to start, just click the Proceed button. You might get a pop-up telling you that it started. Don't worry about it. Just leave it there. As you can see now, it's telling us about how long it's going to take. The time goes pretty quickly. Uh, once it stabilizes, that'll give you a, a really accurate uh, idea of just how long this is going to take. Looks like the uh, it's going to take us. We know it's going to be less than 32 minutes now. Uh, what I'm going to do is we'll just stop this for a while, go out and get a cup of coffee. I'll join. I'll come back and join you when it's done. The video doesn't go for the whole 28 remaining minutes. Uh, we're gonna pa we're gonna pause the video right now till we get closer to being done. See ya. I'll be back in a while. Stay around. Well, looks like we have about six minutes left here. Uh, look, I could uh, sing a song or tell some jokes. Well, well, let's see a show of hands. Well, okay. I won't sing or tell a joke then. Uh, we'll just pause the video some more till till it's just about all done. Okay, we have about 10 seconds to go here before the drive is done. So we'll let the film run again. Okay, now it tells us the operation was done successfully. We just click OK. Okay, now you have a number of options now. Uh, a very wise thing to do would be to validate the backup archive. Uh, it allows you to know that the image is in as good a shape as possible. I have replaced... Um, on this computer probably at least restored images at least 10 times and it's been flawless every time. Uh, of course there's no guarantee and you don't necessarily want to practice by purposely wrecking your hard drive but we truly feel that this is one of the best things that you can do for your computer. We'll close the program right now. We'll validate later on. Uh, we want to thank you very much for watching the video. We hope that it's proved beneficial to you. Uh, we have a, a, a pretty good library of these how-to video tip sheets available, plus some printed tip sheets. You might want to take a look at our website, www.mangocomp.com, for further tips on videos. Once again, thank you very much for watching.